So today we're going to do a home tour with Ekta Parekh from Red Architect. It's a beautiful home, so let's start. Okay, so you're in the vestibule space. Uh, it's a moment of pause. Um, we have a beautiful uh, console which needs to be a statement piece. So we yes. used it from Anne Black Studio. They did a great job of making this for us. A little chair which has a thumbprint of one of their daughters um, from House of Things. It's a nice place to sit down, take off your shoes um, and just allows you to continue that pause moment. I love this personal touch that's there just as yeah, you enter. Just, it's a story, it makes it so much more personal as your home. We then have this large cabinet, which has multiple things behind it. Um, this has ventilation. Yes. So all your electricals, all the heat from it can come out. And uh, just storage. Yes. And it's finished in this beautiful metallic kind of sheen. Here, this needed to be a space for watching TV when you're in this space. And then what we've done is we've kind of hidden that behind these slight fold doors. has another cabinet behind, this becomes the bar. What's nice is to be able to conceal it, but when you're entertaining, kind of just leave that open and use this front segment yeah. and the back together. So this so. becomes like a full party space then? Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. And, and you can still serve drinks because a lot of times we get comments where I want to have a bar but hidden because it's not yeah. a restaurant, but I want a bartender to be able to stand somewhere. Correct. So this kind of serves both purposes. So you have your alcohol, your sports, your music, yeah. very sorted to entertain. And then it goes into a slightly more formal area over right. here. So now this is the formal area. What was the brief of the whole house and how was it incorporated in this? So I think what's different about this home is that we've worked with layers and patterns. And that was kind of the theme which ran through the home, which is very right. different from any other home. Um, very unique theme. It's it usually is. classical or modern. Yes, but it was refreshing, but it also yeah. came out of dialogue with the client. She right. is that kind of person who likes to layer what she wears or does. So it sort of reflected in the home as well. So we did a inlay floor, but it's not your traditional inlay. It's four stones and they kind of peter down and wear off towards that side. So it goes from a dense to a mild. And right. then every single object or piece of furniture that's here sort of works with it. For example, the center table has a large piece of glass. Right. It has three objects which support it, but you can still see the layer which goes under it. So you're what seeing a beautiful it at a thought of that. Multiple yeah. layers. Yeah. Um, the furniture pieces have texture on them or patterns, again, complementing what works with the floor. Small elements like um, back console, which doesn't run continuous, yeah. it just adds objects to, behind you. Uh, a little device where you can put down a book, uh, works as a side table, but also hides your woofer. I um, like how unconventional this is. A lot of people put a console behind a sofa and it runs through. Here, it's been cut almost two thirds of the way, which is a very nice way of doing it. Yes, we also did a curved couch because then you can kind of have conversation which comes in. Yeah. There's enough place behind to put a planter so it just adds value to um, the green of the space. Art, of course, has been a part of every project. I mean, it's, we're fortunate <laughs> to be able to finish the house with the art. Um, I do like how you have taken the theme the brief and not put it in a very literal sense but interpreted in a way where it's an underlying tone it's not so loud and in your face but in a very subtle manner yeah but i think that's it yeah. was also hard for us to work with color texture pattern and play right it's like it's so many yeah. things going on at the same time um and i think that's the biggest success in some way of this project because it's at some level busy but still quiet. Yeah, no, I think success is the right word because I think you really pulled it off. So now I know this room has a lot of hidden gems. This wall is not just a wall. Yes, it so. has a lot of fun things within it. Um, for one, there is a bathroom right behind here. <laughs> this is number one. You have to keep track of how many hidden things there are. <laughs> so this is the bathroom. This is a side table which goes in. 
Keep track, okay? This is number two. <laughs> there is a cabinet here where you can put in your pillows. Number three. <laughs> and this is actually a Murphy bed that comes down. Yes, which is uh, an exercise that we can do later. <laughs> <laughs> That's number four. And my favorite is the vanishing wall, which we're going to show you. Uh, which it's not a red architect project if there's no sliding door that's hiding, vanishing, going one way or the other. So we have to showcase that. <laughs> so it is multi-purpose adaptive spaces are our thing. Yes. And I think with apartments in Bombay, no matter what size they are, you can yeah. always do more with them by making spaces do multiple things. So we have one door and a second door that closes out the entire room. And I want you to know that that sliding door has a different mechanism. So do you want to explain how that works? Sure. Um, so you have two doors which pull out from here. But in a traditional sliding door, you'd have them, you know, back in front. Yeah. Here, what's nice is you can actually pull one out, slide it in front like the channel shows. Right. Take the next one and that sort of aligns with it so that it's one flushed panel. So when you're sitting in the living room, looking yeah. in, you're not looking at something which is not a wall panel. It just looks like it's a part of a wall. Yeah, so it's very well thought out. But now I'm going to show you the vanishing wall. <laughs> so the vanishing wall is hidden behind this. Well, it seems like this regular wall panel actually has a pocket. Should we pull it? Oh! And it's almost 250 to 300 kgs, and I am pulling it with one hand. This hardware is outstanding. Yes. <laughs> to okay. be able to take the weight. It did go. Should I we let you swear do the by rest the hard of... way? Yeah. We absolutely swear by it. There's no other way to do it. If my clients see, I don't want to do this, <laughs> we say, let's not do the room, but this is the channel to go with. And we've successfully blocked with the out. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Came out the other side. Uh, but yeah, so this is how the space adapts to the needs of the client. And now let's talk about the dining area. I love this 10-seater dining table. Can we talk about this sure. for a minute? So the table is really fun to have designed. Um, it's actually made with different legs. Every single leg is different and it's placed in a different position. Okay. Um, it's uh, a fully wood structure. It has a metal rod that goes through it for stability. And on the top, there's a metal disc and it's stuck with UV light. Also, the glass on top, because we were not getting a tinted colored glass in this thickness, is two layers sandwiched together. Oh, and what do you mean it's stuck by UV light? So there's a disc on top, which is metal. Right. You need to buff it so it's absolutely flat. Right. And then you use a liquid and with UV light, it's stuck on top. So it's simply beautiful. You don't see stains or glue, gum, right. any of that. Very um, beautifully finished. And I love this whole space that you have with a mandir that is concealed and you can open it as you need. So I'm going to ask the camera to come here. And how sweet is this? It's a beautiful mandir. And we've sort of used the pattern of the wallpaper behind to kind of give it that slightly perforated look because every mandir needs some ventilation. Correct. I like how the design has carried through. And uh, this is simply in cabin on memories uh, where they picked up objects from travel and yeah. you know made stories behind that. And Small again, details of metal trims just to carry through um, hidden handles to not have anything projecting and making it more busy. Keeping very clean. It's a very clean aesthetic over here. Beautiful. Now, we're going to go to see the powder bathroom, which again is hidden. <laughs> Everything is a... <clears throat> Everything is a secret. You just have to keep pushing the walls here and you'll find something. <laughs> so, this bathroom we had a lot of fun with because yeah. she has a colourful personality and uh, we wanted to do something different. We've actually just done a colour block theme in the bathroom and it's a different materials in terms of mosaic, tiles and stone. Yeah, which you've sort really of mixed three different materials together, which is... Yeah. Which was fun to yeah. do. Yeah. And then just given the counter almost like a console like feel with these sort of corrugated ridges which have been made beautifully by one of our karigars on site. Right. Very nicely done. We're now in the master. 
and it has a beautiful view. Can we talk about this flooring and the lighting? Yeah, so um, since this room had a corner view, uh, we actually wanted to enhance that. So the flooring just became a simple sort of uh, expression of Indian stone, which is a kota. Right. And because she loves the sage green color, and what better way to bring it in into the room. And it has this inlay of uh, beige limestone, which has a pattern, if you enlarge it, of a cane weave. So it's you know, oh. reminiscent of her bedroom backrest back in the day. So it just was a little bit of what she brought from the older house into right. something new. Oh, but I love that thought, how it's a little bit of old but put in a little new. bit of new. Very nice thought. And this lighting is beautiful. And that too around a fan, which usually people think if you have a fan, you can't have ceiling lights. But yes, clearly you conquered was, that. But um, this probably came birth, came about because of her need for that fan. And she very clearly <laughs> told me that I can't, cannot have a bedroom without a fan. And uh, this was a happy compromise. And Black Studio worked with us beautifully to work yeah. out a perfect color of wood that would work in the room, make it homogenous, at the same time have this sort of artistic bend to it. Yeah. So it really brings out the quality of the light. I think if anyone takes anything away, it's that you can have fan and a light in your ceiling. Because I think this is a point of contention, right? Between constantly, designers and constantly, clients. Yes, yes. So this is a perfect solution. We I cringe feel when people want fans, but... This needs a reel of its own. <laughs> fair, fair point. <laughs> And now again, something hidden. Yes, of course. <laughs> so this is storage, which I have to open this way. And it's so just a small nick within yeah. the shutter of the door, which makes that handle accessible. Yeah. And it's not a heavy door, but at the same time, it gets hidden within that whole wall panel at the back. It's fully camouflaged. And in this room, you have hidden my favorite room, which is the Zoom room. <laughs> I love this room and I was trying to tell Ekta let's put it in our reel for Instagram because I wanted people to see it but this is the zoom room and it has these synchronized doors Do you wanna and it's this? as basic as it, as it is I mean it's a small <laughs> space but it does all of it it keeps it quiet um, when the couple is wanting to do different things maybe he wants to watch TV she wants to work it's yeah. a perfect space to hide out. Um, all your storage is, you know, at the back. Uh, it's all monochromatic, so it doesn't look overbearing. And yeah, it's a quiet getaway space. I would use it yeah. every day. And I think the takeaway is that you don't need a large office space at home if you're working from home. You just need this much space and call it a Zoom room and it's a done deal. So I love this. So this is the master bathroom and what I love is that most master bathrooms have a his and her sink. This has a his and her entry door. <laughs> which is, so it is your quintessential his section and her section. And, um, and it, I think what's fun about this is uh, again the slight use of colour, her association yeah. and love for sage green which we've kept minimal just to I love this. Can we shower. see the shower area? I love the sage green. It's a little brighter here and and uh, it keeps the colour contained because I think her husband was more the black and white kind of person. So we've kind of married the two together. There's a different pattern floor here. Right. Again, it goes back into our story of patterns and layers. Also, the tiles on the inside are in this sort of uh, grid format, if you see. They're yes. staggered and they still do form a very subtle pattern on the wall, which makes it more interesting because you discover it as you start using the space. Actually, as you walk around, you can see so many patterns and layers, but none of them actually are so overbearing that the other one gets covered. So yes. I think you've balanced it beautifully. That's refreshing to hear from an outside perspective because you always tend to look back at your work and say, did I do justice or not? But no, I think you did. You. <laughs> and I think everyone watching will think so too. <laughs> so this is the first children's bedroom. And just as you enter, there is this expression wall. So do you want to... Yeah, so this was actually, so she's, uh, she's a young girl, uh, she's not even a teenager yet and uh, it's an ideal space for self-expression. There is a back painted glass and a softboard fabric so you can kind of pin up stuff that either she makes or photographs and this is just a scribble wall, sometimes notes, timetables, all the things our kids want to deal is with. Is it magnetic? It's not, okay. uh, but it's wipeable completely, um, okay. so it's multi-use. 
and it also adds to our story of layers where you have paint and three different materials on it. I like how neatly this is done because in a lot of kids' rooms, you just have that white board that's hooked on. Yes, so and we cringe at it yes. at times. <laughs> so this is a nice solution for that. And I saw that this design sort of goes into the ceiling, it goes into the cupboards. So, yeah, so this was actually more a function of hiding fire pipes. They were existing on our ceiling. We wanted to conceal them. Didn't right. want to drop the ceiling in this room. So we sort of started out with saying, okay, how can we do that? And then we've used these lines to put like the laser beam lights within them. Yeah. And then brought the lines down to kind of make these handles so within the, this area. These again, grooves, these, yeah. The wardrobe. So it sort of ties that whole space in together. Um, of course, she has a slightly more girly side so there are hints of blue and pink which work well within that space. This is a custom made artwork uh, with an so artist cute. out of New York who had never worked on anything which was bigger than an A4 sheet. So this was a real oh, labor wow. of love for her too. Yeah. And how did you find this artist? Uh, my client's been following her forever and loving her work. She was the one who introduced me to her. Okay. And um, yeah, we just approached, approached her and her name is Bakula. And uh, she, she was so excited to do something like this. Bakula, you've done a great job. Yeah, it's quirky <laughs> yeah. and fun yeah. and girly. I love it. And I also love how quirky this is. This is a metal study table, which yes. you don't usually see in kids' rooms. It's usually wooden or glass, but this is metal. And it's hardy. You can stand on it. It's that strong. It's self-supporting. The curves actually support themselves. These become niches to put books in. You also have a drawer, which you know you can put your stuff into. Yeah. And we finished it with uh, an epoxy paint, which helps the, um, which stops the rusting of the metal because it's done in mild steel. Yes. It would keep rusting. So this epoxy kind of retards that and uh, gives it this seamless sort of feel. And it's very smooth to touch, so you can easily write on top of it. Yeah. With this night nice study light. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So Ekta, do you want to tell us about this bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> so we've had some fun here. Um, we have a freestanding basin and a custom sort of vanity closet which is playful. It has a niche for your towels and stuff but it also has cabinets to put in you know, stuff that you need to in a bathroom, laundry basket, all of that. Yes. Um, you then have these beautiful lights which are in cork. Uh, done by Avni. Uh, she's an architect by profession and also now has become a product designer. So she's really, really good at what she does. And then you have this hidden yes. sort of walkway to the WC. We've actually moved the bathroom to make it a little bit larger so that the walk-in closet can be contained. So we got a little bit of the bedroom light in right. the bathroom, which is nice because otherwise the only light in the bathroom is a duct window, which you generally have to frost. So right. it's nice to have a little bit of natural light while you're getting the dressed. dressing table. Very well thought out. And I haven't seen a bathroom like this before. <laughs> it's a very different design. So this is the third bedroom. You've done some major cost cutting with no handles. Is yeah. that the only cost cutting <laughs> you've done? <laughs> Let's go check out this room. Now this room has a very unique study table. Should we get to that first? Sure. Um, so this is a space that she's slightly older, this child. In a critical year of school, so okay. needs to spend time on her desk a lot, so which is why this is more emphasized the seating because she sits a lot on her bed, is what her mum complains. So, we okay. want to make sure that she has soft seating by her desk so she can look out and study at the same time, have space to write on. Yeah, uh, we've done a fun, interesting Annie, Annie Morris sort of inspired table leg, which basically is actual boulders which are sourced and there's a steel rod that goes through and supports the table on one side. Okay. She's also very sporty. So we wanted to kind of have a dustbin with a basketball hoop. So it's something that you can... How cute. You know, if I show this to my kids, yeah. they're going to be like, Mom, can you yeah. call Ekta Auntie? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what fun. And then you have this 3D wall panel that's happening. Which adds again to that whole story of layers. Yeah. Her tastes uh, were more subtle than the younger daughter, Salini. Okay. Uh, Tanishi, and uh, therefore we kind of kept the colors more muted. Uh, there's texture in 3D here, as well as in the panel in front, uh, it sort of become uh, handles again. Not concealed, but at least more subtly done, where right. your fluting panel kind of conceals that at some level. Um, and it continues through and through. And then this is the bathroom, which has this very nice mirror and metal detailing. So this sort of 
feels like the mirror is coming out, but yeah. it's not coming out. So it's a very nice detailing. And I love these styles that you have used. Yeah, these are gorgeous styles from FCML. Absolutely yeah. delightful. Beautiful. Well done, FCML. <laughs> yeah. And we wanted to just do a different fun basin for her too. Since yeah. the other daughter had a freestanding one, we just did one which is slightly lower. And uh, used so the bathroom again, like the room, is far more subtle. Just one sort of statement element. Right. And the lights were fun to do because we didn't want to do face lights, which were again harsh on surface the surface. Yeah. Part. So it kind of gets confused within that metal detail. And so much storage. So lucky girls. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the balcony. And uh, one of your briefs to us was that we spend so much time outdoors that it needed to have a lot of seating which was comfortable. Right. And they could chill, have a drink, eat, have meals. We have a dining table and we have a kind of loungy kind of space. Yeah. Uh, a beautiful swim from Pod. Uh, Nishita's done a fab job of this. Yeah. And uh, it just lived in with the rug and. They're one of the best jula makers, swing makers I think India has. Absolutely. Yeah. So hats off to Pod. And uh, this has been fun. Thank you so much, Ekta, for Thank doing this you. with me. I think it was fun, effortless. I learned a lot. I think whoever's watching did learn a lot as well. And, and we had fun doing it. Yes. <laughs> All right. See you. Bye.